Uh, my name is Ed Ulbrick, and uh, I uh, have been at Digital Domain, I think I'm employee number two. I've been here for 17 years. Well, Digital Domain started out primarily as a visual effects studio that does visual effects and animation for major motion pictures and TV commercials. Of course, that's changed substantially over the years. Um, you know, the whole concept of visual effects and animation has become very blurry. And so in many cases, we are driving and developing and creating and executing a substantial amount of the content that appears in major motion pictures. And in the space of commercials, we don't call it commercials anymore, we call it advertising. Sometimes we call it marketing. Um, but in many cases, we're creating you know, core creative ideas and then we're executing that. And now we don't call them TV commercials anymore also because we're creating content for screens. Screens that you hold in your hand or that are on a wall or you know, anywhere, all screens. Uh, some of the biggest differences we've seen in the, in the movie industry is the, the development process. So it used to be this process for as long as I can remember and probably for generations before that, I used to, like, we call it words on a page, right? So screenwriters hired and they write a screenplay and that screenplay is then uh, handled by a talent agency and that talent agency attaches producers a director, actors, writers, and they package it. And that package around words on a page is then shopped around to the various studios. And when it goes into the studio system, it goes through the gauntlet of creative executives and, and marketing professionals until it gets before each studio's kind of Caesar, right? Who decides if that movie goes or no goes. And oftentimes it's sent back to be rewritten and, and punched up and and, and polished and things like that. Sometimes that can take years, and oftentimes, most of the time, it ends up in the film doesn't get made. So we've seen that process change fundamentally, where now filmmakers are not looking at making a screenplay as the development effort, but, but building a story world. So this is really the idea of transmedia, and this is powerful, and this is kind of new thinking in filmmaking. Now we've all seen franchises, you know, from Star Wars and James Bond to Harry Potter, but this is a little bit different. This is now filmmakers and studios thinking about entertainment properties from the onset, and instead of just developing a screenplay for a movie, they're developing a world. And the movie is kind of one snapshot or one bite at that world, but so is a video game title, so is a theme park ride possibly, a browser, a soundtrack, a ringtone looking at these other opportunities, these other distribution platforms as ways of extending the content. In some cases now you're looking at supplemental or additional content or narrative in a video game that answers questions posed in the movie or that tees up ideas or concepts for the sequel or the prequel or things that can be answered in the marketing. And so this is kind of the backdrop of what's going on. We're at this really wonderful time right now. The proliferation of connected digital devices, you know, like just a few years ago there was no such thing as, a, as an iPhone. Now they're pervasive, they're prevalent. So now you add something like an iPad. You know, it, it's, it's this connectivity and these devices and these screens that are starting to unleash and open all these opportunities for additional content. So it's, it's a very cool time. There clearly is uh, now a global reach in terms of access to technical and creative talent. And that's another thing, you know, studios you know, uh, around the world have to embrace that. Um, you know, you hear a lot of references to cloud computing, you know, or the cloud of, of, of talent that's out there. Well, that's very, very true. Um, we've had to face it in the visual effects industry for the last several years where work is distributed now globally. You have teams working in Mumbai. You have teams working in Vancouver. You have teams working in Los Angeles. You have teams working in Latin America, in Europe, all around the globe. And that's now possible. And I think that large studios are just now beginning to make that model efficient. And it is necessary. And there's a lot of argument about that uh, being the demise of our industry. One could also argue that it's the birth of the industry um, in that now companies are able to expand across borders and companies are able to drive larger projects with greater scope and greater vision. So the idea is though 
at least you know from a perspective of a large studio here in Los Angeles, is that that it isn't that we send out components or pieces of less significant work. It's it's very creatively significant work that's being done in other parts of the world. We choose to focus on doing the high-end innovation here in Los Angeles because we're next to the filmmakers in the studio, so that you know we're, we're really pushing the boundaries. But all the other work, we're able to expand our businesses by embracing pockets of talent wherever they may be in the world. It's essential in part of our change and in part of our growth. And so, you know, the challenges really are those of communication of language and culture and aesthetic differences that manifest culturally. And so that's, you know, no matter what we say about the technology, that's an issue. And that's an issue for us even here in one studio location where you have now, you know, a very international pool of talent working on one project. You know, people see things differently and have different cultural biases. So that's something we always have to work through. But we are, are you know, I think some of the, the, the greatest advancements are the tools of communication uh, and project management across uh, borders. Over, over my career, you know, I kind of see these like peaks and valleys or these plateaus, and, and there's kind of these moments, and they're, they're measured sometimes in terms of a project, a technique, or a technology, and, and that, that event takes you to a whole new level of exploration. So this is a time where I think we're at a real pivotal moment where there's enormous opportunity. Um, and, it, and it's, you know, in a relatively short period of time, we've seen some substantial breakthroughs in kind of visual computing and computer graphics and in connected devices. And, and we kind of have this perfect storm of opportunity right now. You have uh, a world demanding compelling content. You have connectivity unlike anything this planet's ever experienced. And you have now content stories that have come out that have blown the minds of the planet and leave people hungry for more. Really a very exciting time. And, you know, t typically we've seen, in, you know, numbers of years between these kind of breakthrough events from color, you know, in, in motion pictures um, or television and, you know, from radio. Um, and then even in the visual effects world, you know, from the first time, you know, we saw uh, dinosaurs run across the screen, you know, we look back and that's still interesting, but we're, we're way beyond that. Now we're in the realm of digital human beings, characters that are completely believable, that are totally synthetic. And worlds now, completely generated worlds that, that people clearly respond to given just the performance of these properties out in the world, you know, in theater and, and elsewhere. So I think we're gonna look back at this time, you know, in a, in a lot of ways I think we looked in our industry in the early 90s. It was the beginning or the dawn of the digital renaissance, right? Well, well now that we've, we've we're, we're you know, now fully matured, and we're at the dawn of convergent technology, you know, connectivity, and digital capability unlike anything the planet's ever seen before. So if anything, we're gonna look at this as kind of the, the, the new renaissance, right? This is now this really amazing time where we're just getting our stride, and we're able to create things that the world's never seen before.